Sheila Williamson here at the American Fallen Soldiers Project. This is in Addison and it's a very special location that I want to introduce you to. Here we are joined by Lon Ripper, the Chief Development Officer, Hi, and Sheila. he is going to show us about the American Fallen Soldiers Project and educate you on exactly what we're dealing with. Excellent. Well, thank you for coming and visiting. We appreciate it, Sheila. So for just over nine years, Phil and Lisa Taylor have been honoring the families of fallen soldiers, those who have been killed in action, by presenting them with an original hand-painted portrait that we present to the families, such as this here. Mm -hmm. and, and we do that to show the families the honor, to bring them the recognition for the sacrifice that they've made, and to show the community uh, what's happening for our freedom. So here we have now, we have opened up the National Gallery here in Addison. And what we're doing here is, is again, continuing that honor for the families. We like to look at this not as a place of sadness, but a place of, of respect and honor, and to honor their lives and celebrate the lives. So as you see, we have a number of the reproductions of the portraits here at the gallery open to the public so people can come and they can understand the sacrifices that can made, learn the stories about those soldiers, and, and, and take something away from that. Okay. Lon, how are the soldiers chosen for these portraits? That's a, that's a great question. So the families will request portraits through our website, and we have a number of portrait requests uh, that we have files of them. And it will often depend on uh, the opportunity from corporations or events uh, and a good match for what they're trying to do. For example, at their most recent Skyball uh, fundraising event, they were honoring special forces. And so they asked if we had any portrait requests from families for special forces. And so we did a portrait and a presentation to Staff Sergeant, Staff Sergeant Robert Miller, uh, who is also a Medal of Honor recipient. Okay. And also, Lon, how long does it take the artist to do one of these portraits, on average? On average, it takes Phil about 50 to 80 hours to do, to do one of the okay. portraits. Okay. Well, they are magnificent. And when you first come into the American Fallen Soldiers Project, the gallery, you are greeted with a video that is a little over four minutes, but it tells you about the project, it tells you, it shows you some of the families and you'll recognize some of the portraits in the gallery when you come out. It's very emotional, but it shows what it means to the families. One of the families, in particular the mother, said it felt like her son was brought home when they brought the portrait home and that, that just touches you. And then the family with the young children who said that now the, the young child could touch the portrait of her dad and they could grow up, she could talk to the dad like that. It's it's very emotional experience, I will tell you that, but like Lon said, this is meant to be a celebration and an honoring. So you have to think of it like that. It is hard when you first come in here, but you eventually can see that. Now, Lon, I understand that you are expanding and you have some ways that our viewers could get involved. We do, we do. Um, so there's a number of opportunities that people can become part of the gallery in helping, as I said, we're still building out, we're going to have display cases. Uh, this is some boards here that we have, and, and what you see is we plan to put in a, a 35 foot flagpole out front, as well as the battlefield cross uh, showing the people that were here. And as you see underneath that is the Walk of Honor. And what those are is those are inscribed paver stones that will be a permanent part of the gallery. And if individuals, uh, corporations, and families would like to be a part of the gallery, they can sponsor a brick in honor of someone, in memory of someone, uh, or even recognizing their company and their support of, uh, of our soldiers. So we have lots of opportunities for people to be a part of the gallery at, at all different levels. Lon, I love this because this gives every individual a, a way to get connected. These, a brick, you could, every one of us has someone they could honor or a, a memory of, okay, that you could purchase a brick. They're very reasonable. Please, I want you to look at this. We're going to give you the information at the end of this video, but I want you to look at this for a project because what a wonderful Christmas present this would be for a loved one as well. 
I, I, this is just something that's very, very special. I wish all of you would come out to Addison to see this because this is a very special place, honoring those that have given their all for us, for our freedom, and in, in doing so, then we are remembering them and honoring them in a very special way, indeed. Um, there are just so many around us that, that are from all levels and all branches of the service, and it's just, it's a very touching tribute, I will tell you. So, um, Lon, can you think, I know that they could also become a friend of the gallery as there, well. There are many ways becoming a friend, uh, uh, supporting us. You know, really, Sheila, my goal right now is to get the word out that we're here, to bring as many people into the gallery to see this, to see these men and women, uh, and to see what we're doing. And then they can figure out if there's something that fits with how they want to help. So just coming and visiting us. We're open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5. Come and check it out. Tell their friends, bring their family, and, and, uh, and help us to honor the soldiers and the families. Well, once again, Lon, thank you so much for having us out here. And please take advantage of the special opportunity so that you too can uh, memory, in memory of a loved one or in honor of one of your loved ones, support the American Fallen Soldiers Project. Sheila Williamson.